<laughs> YouTube is great, dude. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I, I don't know if anybody's been following this, but I got an email about like two days ago about YouTube taking away like check marks. You know, those little, those little verification badges. Do you want to know what I got 24 hours later in the email? Oh, we, we just realized we screwed up, guys. We're not going to take verification badges away. Now, let me just fill you in on what's going on. A lot of people, like, like DM me, ask me or something about this, about, hey, do you know that they're taking away those, those badges? For me, I find verification badges to be kind of hilarious because it's almost like nobody really takes them serious. Everyone strives for the verification badge. Like, it really does mean anything. And, yeah, to an extent that I ever wonder, yeah, maybe it is kind of a big deal. No, you slowly begin to realize that even if you have a verification badge, people can be pretty fucking dumb and not even decide to look at that. And you get yeah, what I mean. They really are only applicable to me if, if you have, like, an army of, like, trolls around you. Like, like you're a Wings of Redemption or a DSP Gaming where, like, everyone and their mother will make, like, an alternate channel. Yeah, at that point, I think the verification badge is kind of needed. I feel like if, you, if you're in that situation, it's, it's kind of applicable. Just so we just so we know who the real OG behind the situation is. But in most cases, I, I, I looked at this and said, you know, it's kind of weird that they would do it, but it's YouTube. So I, I actually expected everything going around with it. I actually I actually expected it. I wasn't like at some point, like if you looked at me three, four years ago, YouTube was coming up with some stupid blindside changes. I'd probably be like, oh well, goddamn, that's just out of left field. Now I'm just like, oh shit, really? Wow, dude, I am so fucking shocked right now. You have no idea. I'm not shocked. I'm not even shocked at the slightest that they would do this. Ladies and gentlemen, I've said this time and time again. YouTube itself seems like they don't really have a clue how they run this website. One thing to note, though, for those people watching, is Google and YouTube have lost, I believe, a fair chunk of change because they have this whole, like, YouTube, let's be family-friendly nonsense going on around, ladies and gentlemen. And this is one thing that I kind of want to talk about a little bit. Family-friendly appeal to the lowest fucking common denominator. You know, everyone offended on the internet about me saying the F word or anything like that. You know, any this whole demonetization campaign has been running for, like, almost two years now, two plus years, with a lot of people's channels getting, like, straight up removed, demonetized, whatever you want to call it or are you two pandering to this to this non-existent fucking audience uh, about you know basically canceling people de-verifying people demonetizing people because they're a little uh, on the edgy side it is a little hilarious to me it actually shows me how backwards the world has fucking gotten when this is becoming a thing to me youtube for the last four or five years has been like rewinding like it's rewinding the society societal progress of mankind and i know i know it's kind of a big stretch to go from the check marks to where i am right now but it's just one small thing that i feel completely wrong with youtube you're a website that loses money after money every year all right because you're appealing to an audience that doesn't fucking exist because they don't care you're you're appealing to people that just get pissed for no reason and and then and then the thing is to try to here's the here's the problem with youtube it has no respect for the fucking creator side of things and it's not even just a verification it goes down to monetize it it goes down to them wiping channels out of existence it goes down to them like basically censoring people upon whatever whim they have this is a website that appeals to people that don't fucking watch it and any change that it makes it doesn't even come forth with the creators when i got this email from youtube they're like well we're fucking de-verifying but you can reapply for a verification again as if that fucking does anything ladies and gentlemen youtube that doesn't change anything you know how many times people have been asking you for for an, for updated you know like guidelines being more transparent actually having human beings that can fucking respond to you whenever your videos get claimed or demonetized or or, or brought up on some stupid shit when some this is the problem with youtube nothing that it does appeals to the content creator or whatever there's tons of creators i talk to who say hey i work like a hundred fucking hours on this video uploaded it some douche content id or claimed it and youtube's automated system there's like well fuck let's just analyze this so it's gone through a week of analysis and then it still goes towards the person doing false claims this is a website that is tainted with false dmcas false, con false content ids and like the most arbitrated like demonetization rules that exist out there it's it, because there's no proper competition to youtube it's unfortunately the only place your content creators have kind of stuck with and call it a 
the day. And when YouTube decides, hey, maybe this is what we should change. This is the salty dick that gets left in the mouths of people because this is not what we want changed. We want a better running website because at the end of the day with YouTube, and this is always what I say, as soon as some other competitor comes out, whether it be Amazon, Microsoft, or whatever, that could help you migrate users from one website to another website and kind of smooth the transition over and serve a better website for creating videos, YouTube is going to fucking hit the drain. The moment your content creators are gone from this website, the moment that, the moment you the moment you really push away your content creators, Google YouTube, is the moment this website just fucking dies. And it's and it's scary to me that you think that that's somehow okay. Like it's never gonna happen. Eventually, you know, when Ninja got brought out of Twitch and there was a bunch of Twitch streamers who played the shit out of Fortnite, for instance, right? They stopped streaming in general and they were Fortnite streamers. Now, Fortnite got a loss of fucking viewership out there. That's a loss of the, those hours of advertisement that they end up getting. The moment your content creators feel abused, they, they don't feel like they don't feel like they fucking matter. They, they always get blindsided. The moment that like straw breaks the moment you have any more of these, you know, like stupid changes on YouTube that ultimately don't change anything but piss off your content creators, the moment any competition comes by and people migrate from YouTube to that competition, they take that hit, they do what they can, and YouTube is a fucking ghost land of, of, of ghost town of content. What is this website going to do? Because one of the things that I don't think YouTube gets is that this website isn't run by just music videos or like cat videos. The core viewership that constantly keeps coming back, the active engagement comes back with content creators who are there for, who are producing daily, weekly content, regular content for a viewing audience. That's how this website works. The moment you keep pissing off those content creators and they eventually snap and go somewhere else, YouTube, is the moment your website is fucking gone. Now, I've been reading these half-assed responses from like the YouTube staff about, oh, we understand that this is a stupid change. It's not the fact that it's just a stupid fucking change. It's more so the fact that it's a stupid change that shouldn't have happened when you could literally have done even something 10% productive to the website and it would have been a far better cry than anything else. Ladies and gentlemen, I just don't get what's up with YouTube. Like, it's almost like for three, four years, they have this like shadow war, this cold war going on with the content creators. And I just don't understand fucking why. I really don't get why. You're losing money. You're hemorrhaging money. You're losing that core viewership because you don't realize what really matters. What really matters to this website is that older audience, is the audience that is producing content for the older individuals. Do I say that you should support super edgy, fucked up content? You know, there, there's a place for that. And maybe that's not YouTube. I understand. But that content that's more geared to 16, 18, 19, 20, and I've heard YouTube is slowly starting to appeal to that audience by getting advertisers, getting everything set up. But the thing is, you really have to get that shit pushed up because you have to realize that's where a big chunk of your core, regular, marketable viewing audience is. And the moment you don't cater to either side, the people making the content for them, or even the people that want to view that content specifically, the moment you keep doing that and a competitor comes and your website dies, don't fucking sit there and act surprised and hold your dicks and say, well, what could we have done different? I just told you what you can do different, ladies and gentlemen. Now, I don't need this video to go past that 10 minute mark. I don't really fucking care. I just need to get my point out because this checkmark debacle is just one. You really have to understand from the creator point of view. You just have to understand why it's a dumb decision. And ultimately, why I can't wait for more competition to kick up on this website. I love making videos for you all and everything. YouTube just kind of gets in the way and tries to piss in everything. But, ladies and gentlemen, if you like what you saw, please like, comment, and subscribe. Just like if you dislike it, I am out.